Jessica. Katrina. Is this about... I can either fire you or you can resign. The choice is yours. You know. I know. Why are you being so nice about it? Because letting you go is enough. And you also don't want to antagonize me, since I'll be working for Robert Zane. You haven't heard. We got Versa Life back. Lewis won't be going to Zane, and neither will you. I wish you luck. You'll have my letter of resignation on your desk in the morning. Do you remember? <laughs> yes, of course I remember. It <laughs> happened right there. <laughs> well, it was your fault, because you made me burst out laughing. You didn't just burst. You spat a piece of shrimp across the room and into the back of my mother's hair. <laughs> and she didn't even feel it because of all the hairspray. It's stuck in there like a tick. Oh my god, I could hardly look at her or that boyfriend for the next two hours. What was his name again? Who cares? He was such a loser. Come on, he was the reason you had that god-awful party in the first place. <laughs> thank you, Harvey. You don't need to thank me. You already thanked me. No, I thanked you for fixing it. Now I'm thanking you for not bringing it up all night. <laughs> I just figured if you wanted it brought up, you'd bring it up. And I have, so... Uh... I told you I'd never let anything happen to you. And I won't ever. So you don't ever have to feel scared like that again. I thought you said you didn't do the comfort thing. I didn't say I didn't do it. I said I didn't have time because I was so busy saving your ass. I'm sorry I doubted you. I'm sorry I snapped to you. Anyone else ever loses faith in me, doesn't matter. But with you, it's different. Why? You know why. You know I love you, Donna. You're really going to do this? Harvey, this place is all he has. I know. I'm coming with you. Dear Harvey and Jessica, there comes a time when a man must look at himself in the mirror to judge himself instead of waiting to be judged by others. And for me, that time is now. You both know I came to Pearson Spectre right out of law school, but what you may not know is, this is the only place I've ever worked. It's the only place I've ever wanted to work. It is my life. It is my home. And the people that work here are my family. You're like my parents. And the partners, they're like my brothers and the associates under my care are like my children. And I'm ashamed to admit it, but I put all of you in jeopardy for my own personal gain. I told myself it was for the greater good, but the truth is I, I just wanted to feel on the same level as both of you. I, I can deny that no longer. I can excuse my actions no longer. Although we've had our differences over the years, there are no two people I respect more 
Your names are on the wall for a reason, and mine is not for a reason. And I refuse to put either one of you through the pain of having to fire me. So effective immediately, I, Lewis Litt, am resigning from Pearson Specter. Please take care of my home. Jay, can I get a McAllen 18? You know, usually when someone wins their first trial, they at least pretend to finish the drink their fellow ADAs bought them. I'm sorry, do we? Know each other? Not yet. But today's your lucky day. Oh, why is that? Because it's the day you get to meet Donna. Let me guess, you're Donna. Oh, you have no idea how Donna I am. Well, Donna, I'm Harvey. Harvey Specter. You really think I'd be talking to you if I didn't know who you were? How exactly do you know about me? I know about everybody. What I don't know is why this is the first case you ever took to trial. Because it was a white collar crime, not some drug dealer on the corner, which makes it the kind of case. That puts your name in the paper. You're not just a pretty face, are you? No, I'm not. So maybe you should buy me a drink and we can continue this conversation in the corner. Jay? Want to tell me what was so important I had to get back here? He knows. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't Donna tell you? I'll tell you why. Because as my first official act as named partner, I told her not to. What? You heard me. You can look at her as long as you want. She can't help you. Because my name's going up there first thing tomorrow. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. But it won't be tomorrow. I'm not waiting just so you can have Lewis, your Lewis, own... I have to sell this to the senior partners. I can't just slap your name up there one morning. You did it for him. I didn't resign the week before. I don't care. Lewis, that's enough. This is going to take time. And while it does, you're going to keep this to yourself. Bull you're just trying to buy time so you can get out of this. I'm not trying to buy anything. We have an agreement. And this is for your own good. Well, for your own good. You better remember what I'll do if this takes too long. Welcome home, sailor. You were out to sea a long time. I was, but now I'm back. This place hasn't changed a bit. Maybe it has. Is this a new Spinner's album? No. And you know it's not new. You and Harvey joked about it. I could have sworn that was a different one. Said the man with a photographic memory. OK, that doesn't mean I've seen every album. You have no idea where to go, do you? Not a clue. Come with me. Donna, I went to the bullpen. Some guy with a soul patch was sitting at my desk. That's because it's not your desk anymore, and you're not cool enough to pull off a soul patch. Yeah, I dispute that. Are you even capable of growing a soul patch? I had a goatee my sophomore year of never. Look, it's not your desk anymore because you're on the other side of the bullpen now. Which other side? The other side, like the, not the side that you were on. Towards the door or away from the door? Which door are you talking Which about? Which door are you talking about? You know about? what, just shut up and keep walking. You're not here five minutes and you're already a pain in my ass. <clears throat> this is the other side of the bullpen. Are you serious? I know, I fought a tooth and nail. I mean, if it were up to me, you'd be setting up shop in the file room. You did this, didn't you? Well. I did not do it. Thanks, Tom. It's good to have you back, Mike. Rachel, hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I am here because I wanted to talk to you before you came in to see Harvey this morning. Do you want some coffee? No, I won't be here long enough for that. Are you sure? Look, Logan. I know why you're here. If you knew why I was here, then I wouldn't need to be here. I think you're here to tell me that what's happening isn't really happening, but it is. <laughs> I have a boyfriend that I love. So I need you to stop pursuing me. No more flowers, no more looks, no more attempted kisses, no more anything, OK? Look, you said that if I knew why you were here, you wouldn't need to be here. I think you do need to be here, and we both know why. You're wrong. I don't think I am. You once told me that we had chemistry the second that we met. Oh, look at please. Tell me to stop, and I'll stop.
Rachel. Rachel. Lewis, fill up the tank. I'll be back. Well? Well what? You heard what he said, fill up the tank. Yeah, I did hear what he said. He said, Lewis, fill up the tank. Well, where I come from is people who didn't go to college fill up gas tanks. Yeah, and where I come from, you take another step oh, towards Oh, what, the tough me? kid from the city's gonna beat my ass? Lewis, I'm telling you right now. You ruined my life. You ruined my firm. Lewis! <laughs> This is how you handle losing? I'm not here about Gillis Industries. When are you gonna fight me? You stay the hell away from Rachel. Well, that's up to her. But if she does come back here, it won't be to tell me to stay away. She told you. She let it go on a long time. And she didn't just like it, she loved it. Listen, Zane, I want that goddamn filing on my desk nine seconds ago, or you can forget you ever worked here. Now, excuse me, I've got to go be a dick to someone. Sit down. <sighs> Is this about you and Mike? Listen to me. This is going to be a street fight, and there's only going to be one man standing when it's over. So I'm only going to ask you this once. You don't need to. I don't want out. I want in. And when I said you want me to send a message to Mike, I meant it. I was just going to ask if you were comfortable getting me coffee in the mornings. I'm serious. I didn't back down from a fight with my dad, and I'm not going to back down from one with Mike. Good. Now. Actually, I'm going to get coffee. Great. One sugar splash of cream and don't scoop on the hazelnut. Too soon. Instead of failing to be charming, why don't you do something useful and get moving on drawing up a tender offer for Logan Sanders? Logan? No, you mean Max Sanders. I keep forgetting that you're in law school half the time. Max is retired. It's Logan's show now. 